you busted your power cord and you need to fix it. Don't worry, you can do this yourself relatively easily, without a lot of tools, and pretty cheap. All you'll need to do is buy yourself a little adapter, make sure you got the volts correct, make sure you get the specifications. And then we're, I got bought a real nice one here, this was like 10 bucks at Lowe's. Uh, you can get one for as cheap as two or three dollars. As far as tools that you'll need, you're gonna want a nice cutter to be able to cut those wires, a wire stripper to be able to strip some wires, and a screwdriver to be able to loosen your parts. So make sure there's no power going to whatever you're doing. In this case, it's unplugged, so I have no worries, but just make sure. So you're gonna want some nice cutters to be able to cut this wire off. And you're just gonna simply cut it right in half. Now uh, we've got our wires in here. We need to get those out. So we take our strippers, or you can just get a razor blade and go right lightly around the wire. Just barely, make sure to be real careful so you don't cut yourself. And once you get that loose, always make sure to close your razor blade when you're done. Just get in a good habit of doing that. Pull it right off. Now you've got your three wires. Gotta take these two screws out. I'm gonna take this, slide it out, and then we'll get to our next point here. So you can see I got my screws out. So from here, these just slide right off, right off the track. Now these screws are a little different. You're just gonna loosen them. And you're not gonna actually pull them out. And then from there, it just slides right off. And then you have access on the sides here where you're gonna actually connect your wires. Now from this point, make sure to read the instruction manual. Follow their directions, don't follow this, it might be different, unless of course you're using the exact same part, which I doubt. Make sure before you start tightening anything in, to insert your plastic piece down first because once everything is fastened and connected, you're gonna reconnect these. And you don't wanna re, you, you do not wanna screw everything in and get it all perfect and then have to take it all apart and do it again. Trust me, might be talking from personal experience. If you're having any issues with these frills flapping around, just simply twist them. Once you twist them over like that, it'll make it easier to insert them into the hole. Take that part right there and shove it inside. Once it's locked in place, now you can tighten it. All right, I've got all my wires connected. Now I'm ready to reconnect my plastic piece. There is this little template on this one right here on this side that I'm gonna need to find that to make this connect. That guarantees that it slides in the right spot. Once it's in there, now we don't have to worry so much about those pieces. We'll take our little screws here, tighten it down. Now remember, these are just little grooves going in the plastic. So they don't need about the same amount of pressure. So you definitely want to do this by hand. Do not use a power because you will strip right through it. We'll slide it right in that groove. It will only go in one way. Take the other one, same thing on the other side. And from here, you want to make sure that the power cord is going to be the only thing on the outside. We don't want to see wires. And once you're done, here you go. This is what it looks like. 